The horrifying swamp creature called Man-Thing first appeared in the black and white magazine Savage Tales No. 1 in 1971. In this story, government scientist Ted Salas was staying in the Florida Everglades with his partner Ellen Brandt while working on a secret formula. After his contact Hamilton was late to their meeting, Ted burned his research for safety and traveled with Ellen to where Hamilton was staying. There, Salas found Hamilton murdered by enemy agents, and Ellen revealed that she was one of them. Ted Salas got in his car and ran, injecting the chemical, an experimental super soldier serum, into himself to keep it out of enemy hands. In his panic, Ted crashed the car, careening into the swampy lake. The waters of the swamp interacted with the unstable formula in his system, transforming Ted Salas into the Man-Thing. Crawling out of the waters, the Man-Thing attacked, brutally killing the enemy agents. He then turned his attention towards his former lover, placing a hand on her face and leaving a blistering scar with his burning touch, before disappearing into the swamp once again. Man-Thing later returned, making his debut in the wider Marvel Universe in Astonishing Tales featuring Kazar, who we talked about in our last video, linked in the description below. While Kazar was off on another adventure in the Savage Land, a mysterious woman arrived at his England home, desperate to find the Wild Man. After receiving a map to the Savage Land from Kazar's butler, the woman, Dr. Barbara Morse, traveled there with her fiancé, Paul Allen, by plane only to be attacked by flying dinosaurs. After a crash landing, a meeting with Kazar, and a conflict involving Englishmen and Germans who shipwrecked during World War II, only to continue fighting for decades, Kazar agreed to return to the United States with Barbara and Paul. There, Barbara revealed that she and her fiancé were part of Project Gladiator, the government project that Ted Salas was working on. She also revealed that Ted's partner, Ellen, was suspected of being a spy for the terrorist group of super scientists, Advanced Idea Mechanics, or AIM. Ellen was found in the Florida Everglades, scarred and delirious, and the two scientists wanted Kazar's help to find Ted Salas before AIM. Evidently, AIM was hot on their trail, and a group of AIM agents shot down the trio's helicopter. After fighting off hungry alligators, the group was led by Zabu to the project's facility. There, Dr. Morse and Dr. Allen reunited with their colleagues, one of which, Dr. Wilma Calvin, was badly injured and unconscious. Outside the building, the Man-Thing looked in, remembering the events that led to this moment. After becoming what he is and scarring Ellen, the terrifying creature wandered the swamps. One night he saw the old woman, Dr. Calvin, wandering the swamp, followed by a man who was convinced her team was up to no good. The man-thing stepped in front of the armed man, grabbing his arm to stop him from shooting, the creature's very touch searing the man's flesh. The injured man fled, and Dr. Wilma Calvin returned to Project Gladiator. There, a group of angry locals, having been stirred up by an AIM spy, arrived blaming the scientists for the creature roaming the swamps and holding Barbara Morse at gunpoint. Before the situation escalated even further, the Man-Thing appeared, attacking the violent locals, killing with indiscriminate fury. When the carnage ended, Wilma Calvin stepped forward, unafraid and almost seeming to recognize the beast. However, before she could reach the creature, a trigger was pulled and Wilma was shot. The Man-Thing howled and fled once again into the darkened swampland. Now he stands outside the building, realizing that the woman did not die, at least not yet. Meanwhile inside, Kazar sensed the presence of the monster and ran out to confront it, leaving Zabu behind for his own protection. Moving into the swamp, Man-Thing fell into a trap laid by AIM, while Kazar arrived and engaged the enemy agents. Kazar easily tossed the agents of AIM around, but, due to their numbers, one of them got the drop on the Wild Man and knocked him into the pit with the monster. Kazar and Man-Thing fought, and Kazar discovered that the creature's touch, which seared the skin of so many others, seemed to have no effect on him. 
Then, as Man-Thing held his opponent aloft, the AIM agents took their opportunity to hit the beast with a powerful laser blast, incapacitating it. Zabu then arrived, having broken his bonds and attacked the enemy agents, followed behind by Dr. Morse and her colleagues. The surviving AIM members fled, and Kazar climbed out of the pit to calm his companion. Kazar theorized the reason the Man-Thing's touch didn't burn him was that he remained unafraid, and any who did feel fear would burn at the touch of the Man-Thing. With Kazar's help, the scientist pulled the monster from the pit and caged him. With AIM entrenched in the swamp, Barbara Morse, now in charge of Project Gladiator, decided their next move should be to return to New York and rendezvous with S.H.I.E.L.D. However, after going with Paul Allen to prepare Dr. Calvin for the journey, Dr. Wendell returned, having been shot, telling Kazar and Morse that Calvin had been taken by AIM, but Wendell died before he could say what became of Allen. Strangely calm, Barbara Morse formulated a plan. The team tracked down the man who'd previously held Barbara at gunpoint and who had shot Dr. Calvin, convinced that he was an agent of AIM. Kazar and Zabu interrogated the spy and learned the location of AIM's base of operations in the swamp, while outside, the Man-Thing broke free from his cage. Infiltrating their fortress, Morse found Dr. Calvin still unconscious and also discovered her suspicions about her fiancé were correct. Paul Allen was the head of AIM's operations in the swamp. At that moment, the Man-Thing burst into the room. Allen tried to shoot him down, but his bullets had no effect on the hulking creature, who then picked up the terrified spy and ended his schemes forever with a burning touch. Kazar grabbed Dr. Calvin and escaped with Barbara, while the Man-Thing completely destroyed the AIM base. Man-Thing later emerged in the pages of Adventure into Fear, wandering the swamp and punishing those who would do evil. So that's the origin of the Man-Thing. If you want to know more about Man-Thing, like how it turned out the swamp was actually the nexus of all realities, sound off in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more marvelous content. If you like this video, you can leave a like, or you can share it on your favorite social media platform. And if you really liked it, you can donate to the show at patreon.com slash Until next time, true believers, Excelsior!